okay in the second period i will try to finish up to 9 10 okay within this we will try to finish this topic uh, read file okay here try to understand that so as i told you that scanner class will be used to read the content which is written to a file so this is the scanner class so if you want to use scanner class it is giving error why because so our compiler clearly mentioning that error so error is what scanner cannot be resolved to a type because you need to import this scanner class here import import java dot this scanner class part of what utility package if you put utility dot you will get the scanner class here if you put simply capital yes this is the scanner class if you know the name of the class you write scanner class otherwise you simply keep star but you must know which class will be used for read operation so that's why because now you need to create the object you need to create the object simply you want to keep dot star dot star means okay all the files will be imported from utility package but you need to create the object for that class so surely you must know that so you write scanner i know that because now i need to create the object for this scanner class for read operation of a file so this is the object created for scanner class. Okay, now why it is giving error? Within this, I need to see the constructor scanner is undefined. Means this is the, I told you that this is the constructor. This is the constructor for what? This is the constructor of scanner class. So it is giving error. Clearly, the constructor scanner is undefined. Undefined means this constructor special method. It is to be defined. Defined means now here, whether you will get any help here, a simple text scanner. As a programmer, you need to understand all these. A simple text scanner which can pr parse primitive types and strings using regular expressions. Means parse means what? One type of conversion. Okay. Now, you do one thing, this object you keep as a parameter. You pass this object file. Okay. Now your er error is over. There is no error here. So, but it is stating word. No issue. Now leave this code. So now what happened? You have created an object for scanner class. I told you that this scanner class will be used to read the content from this file. So we need to go for a method. So the methods which is related with the read function. So for read function under this scanner class object, that method will be used, that method will be accessed with the object scanner. scanner dot so any method these are all the methods of that scanner class uh, a scanner class that methods will be accessed with the object object created for what scanner class so if you keep the dot operator here these are all methods so which method any method which is related with uh, reading operation see let us see any read if you keep r there is no any read method here. Okay. There is no any read method. So then what? So any method, this next line method, this is, this will be used for a current line of input. Okay. Current line. Suppose user sending, typing on through standard input device. That is what our standard input device keyboard. So clients, typing so that is to be read no that is to be read by the scanner class by this next line method 
this next line method okay so so terminate this semicolon now what happened try to understand we will keep a loop here we will keep a loop here why so this next line method that is the method of your scanner class that is part of your utility package object created this is the object method so uh, i have created the object for that now i can access this object method so what is the role of this method this method so it reads the current line okay it reads the current line okay so now here i will create an, a loop why while loop here normally while loop will be used here which purpose try to understand so until user terminates until user terminates otherwise until there is no any input while loop will be continued loop will be while loop normally will be used in such a scenario means uh, in a situation while loop will be used see already it is helping us who is helping the visual studio code i am using here that uh, compiler it is helping me to write the code actually this is the code i need to write it is helping us that you accept this one so what is the meaning of this try to understand before this uh, i told you that this uh, next line method will be used to read the current line from the input okay now what is the meaning of this has next line method is there really is there any method is there if you keep simply dot operator this after yeah has next line method here is a what do you mean of this has next line method try to understand i told you that while loop will be uh used to continue so this loop will be continued up to up to there is no any up to there is input so while loop will be continued up to until there is a input if there is no any input okay if there is no any input your loop will be while loop will be terminated so what is the meaning of has next line means uh lines are there next lines are coming so input is coming so loop will be continued okay that uh, loop will be continued that line of code next line will be read by this method so okay so for read operation simply this method used to read the next uh, current line but loop to be continued so while loop i have used by this has next line method okay so it returns true this method returns true if there is another line in the input of the scanner so scanner class will be used to read the input okay so this has next line method it returns true true means there is a uh, it is it returns true means there is another line in the queue in the input of this scanner so one line is being read so this method indicating that there is another line means there is true means there is another line is there if there is no any another line in the queue so loop will be discontinued if another line is there loop will be continued so for this method it returns true 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 is a boolean value true means uh, boolean means uh, input is there if uh, no input is there it returns false false means boolean value false means there is no any input okay at this can okay now you try to understand after that that line that input will be read by this method okay now come down so once whatever that is being read that is need to be stored in a in a data in a variable create a variable suppose you simply say that it is a variable created so within this variable that will be what string type of variable you need to say in the uh, python uh, java you need to declare which type of this variable holds which type of okay now this variable stores 
this variable stores whatever the next line method reads whatever the line that will be stored in this variable okay so you write already your that is what object scanner dot next line okay means that line of code that will be stored read by this next line method that will be stored in this variable that is a string type of string type of okay now next is what we will try to understand okay 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 object scanner okay this is okay now whatever now your we need to while loop na now we will keep a flower brace here because na, this statement will be under the while loop. Now, if we will not keep this open brace, close brace, so what do you mean of this? This loop will be continued up to there is input. If there is no any input, this method will check back that whether there is input, so it returns true value means Scanner class understood that this method, next line method understood that there is a line. So that line to be read by this method. So if this method returns false, uh, Boolean value as false, that moment this method understood that there is no any input. Okay. Now while loop is closed. Okay. So now what happened? This method normally this file is there. No? So what is this file? Try to understand that this if file you have you have created a file so if there is no any file found that moment exception will be thrown may there is a chance of exception may be thrown so that moment to handle that exception you import one more java dot io input output dot uh, one exception that is uh, we need to use here um, file not found exception we we need to use here file not this exception we need to use here so what do you mean of this ex what is the meaning of this you you have mentioned the file name here if there's no any file so that moment the program, this Java program throws exception. Means that moment next line of code will not be executed. To, to save the code means we, we as a programmer, we want to run the total code up to the last line of code, whatever I have written. It doesn't mean code will be stopped wherever the error exception occurs. I have clearly conducted the classes which are related with the exceptions. Okay. Runtime exception. So you refer that class. So if there is no any file found, so that moment exception, file not found exception may be thrown. To handle that exception, this exception to be imported, that is from IO package. Scanner class, you mentioned here, to for read operation for read operation okay scanner class that method has the next line method that will be used for read the line okay this will be used to handle the user to handle the user to handle the exceptions what exception that is what that is your file not found exception okay now come down here now okay now whatever the data that is being read that will be that is stored in this okay variable now data is uh, in this variable now your loop is closed after that so once 
you want to you are feeling that exception may be raised thrown so i told you that your code to be kept in way try block you try and catch block try block so now this total code that is to be stored that is to be kept under your okay under your try block understood that after that your catch block once it is common whenever you kept try block the code under try block you have kept now you need to write catch block catch block it is clearly indicating that supporting us that so this is the syntax to catch block after that this is for your main method after that one more brace for your main class now code is finished huh? see try to understand these two braces for one is for your main method and one is that main class closed catch catch block must be associated with the try block if you declare the try block that must be associated with the catch block okay so within this catch block i told you that if any exception occurred from this try block try block means whatever the code you have written under try block how many lines of code one two three four five lines of code you have written if exception occurred in any line that will be catch by this catch block and that exception will be stored in this variable, E variable. This can be anything, E, G, whatever variable. You give my name, it does. It is a variable to store that exception. Exceptions al always will be objects. Okay. So many exceptions. I told you that index out of bound exception, input output exception, file not found exception, arithmetic exception. So many exceptions are there. Okay. SQL exception. So that exception will be stored in this variable as a object. Okay, so any variable you can create simply normally sometime you keep yourself. If you want to get that exception, you simply take a printout system dot out print ln. Okay, and bracket you pass that variable e. Okay, that will be now that you will get the printout. After that, before that, you write one more, you copy this one. You copy this one and you paste here. You paste here. You type here, put a string type of data. If exception occurs, so for your intimation, exception occurred. Okay. So exception occurred. So after that, if exception occurs, what is that exception? You will get the name of that exception. Okay, here. This is the catch block code. Now, you whatever the data is there in this uh, that is what you were this variable if you want to get a printout you simply put you try you request for a printout statement and you pass the variable name data data is a variable which is holding the uh, incoming okay so now this is the code i have written now to try to check back that what is happening here now this is the catch block. Where is that input and output? These two, two are for what? This last brace for your try block closed. Under this try block, while loop is there. Where is your while loop? Okay. This is your while loop. Where is this is while loop? Okay, first try block, lastly try block will be closed after that while block. So while block, this is while block. This is yellow brace, blue brace for your try block. After that catch block. Okay, next your main method, main class. Now you run this code. What happened here? Let us see. So Okay, so now what happened? Try to understand. Exception occurred. Exception occurred. Okay, why exception occurred? Because code 
the code whatever we have written put in try block it it has thrown an exception that exception name is what file not found exception this file not found exception handled by whom by the class file not found exception that imported that is part of your io package okay this is part of your io package okay no issue so now try to understand as per this code exception occurs because this file you have created so a compiler it is not able to find this file the system cannot find the file specified okay because try to understand you have written the code uh, your source file generated in which folder see vs code this is the path vs code um java vs code c c drive vs code java so this is the path of that file created but here this java uh, this file name dot text whenever you will get this type of uh, file not found exception your file is cre not created in your wherever this program stored this file okay to read file dot java it is its path is what vs code java okay means here you have stored uh, under this c drive okay where this is my vs code under this that is what if you go for there one folder is that mm, today class is what to read na go for to read mnop to read today to okay to read file this is the today's 30 today 30 december so this folder created so within this our file is under the source here is our file to read file this is a java source file understood that so you will get this message means this file to be created we need to give a path we need to give a path to we need to give a path where path to be given like this okay see colon mm, that is what to next okay this is the path name we go there and copy that uh, where is that this is the you copy this one copy address you come here now you okay you paste that address so now what happened try to understand this is the path to read file to read file uh, read file slash slash file name dot txt so means what now i have given the proper path now you run this code what happened here so it is uh, stating that java file found not exception the file name directory name or volume label syntax is incorrect okay here simply you have written you have not given any path okay one file that is created here okay file name dot txt okay it is created now as per this if i run this code it is uh, thro it throws an exception that is called file not found exception okay whatever the file you have created Okay, simply you have written, but I told you that the path, 
the path is what this file that is a text file okay document file created in our source file in the source file our total java source file code is there okay so now you click that this code will be opened so here if i provide the total path so so whenever you run the code okay so that moment file not found exception it is not to be displayed okay because file is here na proper path you have given proper path the path clearly you are mentioning that path from where this is the path from the up to source under the source source is a folder see come down here this is a source is a folder it is part of your to read file that is our java source uh, source file name your java source for to read file see to read file it is our file name same class name here this is the class name so this is the source file name so under that source file it is a folder source file folder under that one more folder is that source under this your this code file where is our java source file here okay so this path if i take if i take up to only here under this folder what is that folder what is where is that folder to read file come back where is our read to read file uh, to read to, this is the folder okay so if you click on this folder okay now this is part of this folder is part of your vs code java under this folder click this is also one folder click on so now source under this your file name is here okay you know you click on this so now you copy this address you copy this you copy this address you click on copy address okay now come here in the coding you mention the you remove this one okay now you paste the code of that path so now this is the path under the c drive vs code java is a folder under this to read file is a folder under that source is a folder now under this our that is what your file name text dot txt is here okay so now if the code properly because now i have provided the proper path okay under the source folder see under the source folder your source file is there and your under that source file this text document file name dot text proper file name dot text txt file name dot text is created so if as per this code to be executed if it is not executed let us see as per this what i am getting is okay the system cannot find the file specified no issue it is to be resolved huh? okay if i don't want to provide i want to keep only this nothing simply open close quotation marks if i have kept here so what it's simply it is stating that because no such file or directory so means no any file we have specified here so that's why it is stating that no such file or directory is there so if i created that so it is giving so th this will be so solved we will discuss on um, coming next sunday coming sunday this today is what 13 uh, 
and next uh, sunday 31st na we will discuss that how to resolve that okay now here as per the algorithm uh, as you many many students asked that so how to how to do that okay Okay, in Sunday, we will do, we will write the code. Uh, now, read file. Now, we are reading the file. So, uh, fi file is created. File is created means file, file name dot txt. Anything you can write here. Anything, okay. file name dot txt okay file name dot txt so after that file is created some content will be written to this file and that content to be read okay the content to be re read we will uh, do in next sunday next sunday means today is 30 and 31st we will meet file is created after that content will be written to this file and our read operation by the read operation this content whatever we write like what you know suppose if i write any content to this file okay if i write any content to this file like what uh suppose uh, string that is what string okay string string name take any name string say any was who is a variable so you provide some if you say this as a okay file name file name is what this is my file name na? that is text file so this file name holds a text string type of data india is so great so now what happened this is a string type of data this is a string type of data that string type of data stored in this file so now this is to be read our topic is what to read a file now so we will discuss on sunday okay so whenever we display so this content to be read from this file and that is to be displayed on the control. Okay. We will uh, discuss that topic. Huh? I'm going to, now I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the class. We will meet on Sunday. Okay. Thank you. Jai Hind.